Hi guys, this is the first tutorial about developing video games, okay? The first thing I'm gonna do is search some sprite resources to create our video game, okay? Let's browse on Google Sprite Resource We can use this, this links, first links. Um, let's try to develop a simple shooting game. Okay, um, Super NES is th the simple, uh, nice, pretty nice sprites to start to develop in video games. Okay. Um, Strike corner. Strike corner. Uh, strike. Strike corner. Here they are. Okay. Well, we have enemy force, air force, enemy tick space force, uh, different bosses and sprites. Okay. Mm. Let's use this first and let's download it. Very simple. Huh? We got it here. Uh, we can use the image very small okay well let's save this image quickly let's gain some time desktop I have created a new folder in my desktop so I will save this image in this new folder. I will create four folder for different files. FPG files, sound files, okay, sound files, video game music file, and graphic file, or a sprites file. So here Here we will save the image. So easy. Sprite, let's open that folder and open with some software to edit it. I'm gonna use uh, PNG format file because this tool uh, accept uh, 32 bits graphic mode so it can support uh, alpha channel so let's let's select this okay let's select this we create new and let's paste it Let's select this uh, soft now and select for soft and delete this. Okay, very nice. So let's cut this quickly. Short X and V. Short X and V. Let's cut the image side of here 26. So let's eat all and move to make some transparency. 
Okay, it's nice. Okay, we got our sprite. Let's start to save new graphics. Let's say the first um, desktop my video games. It's sprite sprite one PNG format. Okay, don't forget that right format here png again sprite number two oh my goodness um sprite number three i okay let's open the folder again let's rewrite this and it's done let's open quickly our FG editor here let's open it let's create a new 32 VPP graphics and let's add our plans let's stop my video game folder open and let's add select three sprites and press open accept it accept it accept it let's save it let's save it in our fpg folder like main fpg file okay it's done let's open quickly our text editor notepad plus plus and i'm gonna create a new document this are to come off my personal projects so we have many ways to start to develop in video games in Venu uh, code uh, syntax code uh, it's very simple to to write it okay the first thing we, we must do is write models section because Venu has uh, divide the code internal code and um, in many section to optimize uh, a speed video game okay to make this uh, code more clean so exist many many models there there are not much not much uh, sorry uh, enough models there or add a little a little quantity Okay, quantity a little quantity. Let's import uh, mode say use it to debugging mode uh, or, or using to try to make some tracing in the code. So let's save it and desktop. Let's look for uh, Where is it? I can't see it. Ah, here it is. And let's call it main. Select all file types. PRG. And our call has been colored. So let's write some model modules. Uh, the model key for keyboard input. Import with joy for joystick input. Import video for video setting import mode text for text writing uh, import map model map to graphics on graphic function import uh, mode, um, uh, mode uh, view text map pros some some pros uh, process and graphic process dr pro graphic process and general process mm, I think these models are enough um, let's make the different bars and const 
protection, global wars, local wars, define if we have defined section, let's connect it and let's start to write, let's create a main process that is the main code on main body to create our video game let's start to setting fps or our frame speed frame per second 17 by 0 no skip it frame skip it frames set more um, this could be nice uh, 512 Oh, okay, here. Mm. This could be the, the 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 half of this resolution, I think. Okay, we have this here, and it's very simple. Let's create a new cycle. New cycle. Could we repeat. Let's write framework. Let's write home to key escape and what the hell are you doing David please explain me that I can understand what are you doing well it's very simple this is uh, some video configuration okay so video settings let's create a cycle that will integrate until we press escape key okay and at last we kill all the process in the memory okay very simple if I press F6 let's see what happened oh a black window that's what is this working right let's see okay let's write some text zero write it's a function to write text let's use the half of the, uh, of the screen 256 and uh, then for um, hello world very basic code pro to, to test a uh, new platform okay it's running right great okay let's create quickly a new bar and FPG bar so what are we gonna do with this bar simple let's load a new FPG file FPG load function to load a new FPG file. Let's write the FPG folder where we saved our FPG file. Okay, exactly like this. FPG main dot FPG file. FPG main dot FPG file. We close here and let's add some graphic here. If we write this. Word file uh, it's equal to FPG file and let's use graph like number one let's see what happened oh can you see that in this corner upper left but uh, that is not easy that is not nice uh, sorry not easy it's not nice okay let's write a better code now let's create a new process player is a new code let's write it and let's use this this coordinates oh let's create a new process here this text is the main process but you can create another process process player x coordinate y coordinate coordinate let's write begin uh, from this point 
the code starts to execute some sentence or operations. So let's write file again, FPG, because this is a global var. You can use this var in any process through the code. Okay. So let's write graph. This is equal one, and x and y are now set. So let's see a new cycle like loop and end. So this is a cycle, this is a different cycle. This cycle repeat use a condition that makes that this cycle breaks when this condition is true. But loop never ends because loop is a constant cycle that you only can break when you use a break sentence, okay? Well, let's press F6 and let's see how it's on. Okay, great. We got a plane in the middle of our screen, exactly at the center. Well, this is enough for this video. I think we can see it. see us in the next video. Don't, don't, don't forget to see the next tutorial. Uh, will be very nice and great. See you soon, guys.